Welcome to Lazada University, hub for e-commerce education. In this video, we'll teach you how to do a one-by-one -one content upload in Seller Center. Let's get started. Log into your Seller Center account using your registered email address and password, then press Submit. There are two ways to start creating a new product through one-by-one -one upload in Seller Center, through a five-step process. The first and quickest way to start is through the standard product unit or SBU method. An SBU is a collection of attributes that's common to a particular product and shared across all sellers. Think of the SBU as a master product template with attributes that are pre-filled in and pre-approved, saving you time and effort by allowing you to skip one step in content creation. Remember, when creating a product, search for it first in the SC database. If your product is a popular one, Chances are, it already has an existing SBU. Just make sure that the SBU attributes are exactly the same with the product you are adding. You can do this by clicking Preview. For example, in iPhone SBU, check brand, model, operation network, and connection, and so on. If all the product's attributes match yours, click Sell Yours to create your product. If the product that you will be creating is unique, Start by choosing its first level of category. This is the second way of starting content creation through one-by-one -one upload. Choose the deepest level of category for your product, then press Select. Alternatively, you can type in category words in the search bar. You will then be directed to SBU information page. This is the second way to start product creation process through one-by-one -one method. Fill out all the mandatory attributes for your product. Keep in mind, that fields marked with a star or asterisk sign are mandatory. You must fill these attributes before you can proceed to the next step. We encourage you to fill in as many details as you can so that the customers can easily find your products on the website. Please provide accurate information because these will be used as attributes for a whole new SBU. Few important reminders. Attribute values will be either text or number. Selected from drop-down menu, or free text. If you missed filling out any of the mandatory attributes, you will not be able to proceed to the next step. Likewise, sellers cannot navigate freely among the five steps in one-by-one -one upload process in SC. Each step must be fulfilled successively. Step three is filling out of additional SKU information or more details. Make sure to input all the necessary data as warranty details, delivery option, product name, highlight, and long description. For the product name, follow the online guide, which typically consists of brand, model, and important product features. Product names should be in uppercase and should not contain special characters. Color should be put in between brackets at the end of the name. For category-specific naming conventions, please refer to Lazada University. For product highlights, please take note. It should be a minimum of three to a maximum of eight bullet points. It should also focus on the product's unique selling points and benefits. Consider providing answers to popular customer queries about the product, such as screen size and operating system for mobiles and tablets. Product long description is where you can put in-depth information on product's features and functionality. Here, you will find more space for creative content as illustrative product photos, insightful infographics, eye-catching layout, and even feature or instructional videos. Take note of these few important reminders when writing long descriptions. Long descriptions should be free of any unnecessary HTML coding. Do not insert any HTML link, including links to other SKUs. To preview image, Click on Image and Insert Image URL. If Image Link is valid, the image will appear immediately. Step 4 is filling out of Stock Keeping Unit of SKU Attributes and Images. Clicking the right SKU attributes such as Color or Storage Capacity automatically prompts the system to suggest other variants of the product, allowing continuous SKU creation. For instance, if your product is available in four variants, SC will present you with four product variations with corresponding attributes to fill out. 
But first, be sure to toggle with the available button in line with the products you plan to sell. Next, provide a unique seller SKU which will be used to identify your product in the warehouse. Just remember, a seller SKU should be any unique combination of alphanumeric characters from 3 to 50. Avoid special character such as comma, semicolon, question mark, exclamation point, and so on. Duplicate SKUs will lead to errors. Also, deleted SKU should never be used again. Next, input the stock and price for the product. The price should be inclusive of shipping fee, Lazada commission, payment fee, and others. You also have the option to include a sale date if you have any promotion to offer. For what's in the box, please follow the standard format, which is quantity times product name. You can also use this format when adding items in your free items field. It is very important that you add accurate package dimensions and weight which determines shipping fees. Please take note that Seller Center's unit of measurement for length, width, and height is centimeter and for weight, it's kilograms. Do not overlook doing correct conversion since this is the most common source of error. For example, inches to centimeters, or millimeters to centimeters, or pounds to kilograms. For product images, please upload at least one product photo with minimum resolution of 500 by 500 pixels. Image should be clear and sharp. Upload your preferred main or primary image in the first panel from the left. Also, please take note that all images will be converted to one is to one ratio or square format regardless of your original photo's format and size. Step 5 is just a review of everything you have just inputted. Double check every attribute, especially the mandatory ones. And once everything is okay, click submit and you're done. Your product will now be reviewed by our quality experts. You can check its status by clicking on manage products, inactive, quality approval pending. Once your product passes our quality control process, congratulations! Your product will now be listed in the Lazada website. If you wish to delist any product in the Lazada site, simply turn it off here and make it inactive. To view only live SKUs, click Live. To view products which are currently out of stock, go to Sold Out tab. It's very important to keep your stock up to date so that your products are visible and available for purchase. Do you want to learn more about our content production? Please check out our training resources in Lazada University. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video and happy selling!